Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with what I think is a really beautiful Thompson OM guitar. OMs, or orchestra models, are of course part of Thompson's standard lineup. Um, we've had the chance to check out a few of them in, in various uh, variations here on Peghead Nation. They've all been fabulous guitars. Um, this one's no exception. Uh, I think this is a really gorgeous guitar, both in its appearance and its sound. So let's take a closer look. So as you can probably tell, uh, this guitar essentially adheres to the standard OM platform, uh, which of course means a 14 fret triple O body, a long scale, in this case 25.4 inches, so very traditional, one and three quarter inch nut width, and relatively wide string spacing at the saddle. In this case, uh, it's two and five sixteenth inches. Um, so that is essentially what makes an OM, um, those, those dimensions. And of course, um, there are lots of variations on that, both in terms of the sort of details on the specs and especially the woods that are used. And in the case of this guitar, Thompson chose a gorgeous Lutz spruce top, and Lutz spruce is something that we don't see too often. Lutz is a hybrid spruce uh, between Engelmann and Sitka, and uh, has some very distinct uh, coloring. Uh, grain is almost white enough here to almost give the appearance of Adirondack spruce, but the coloring is very different. And of course, Lutz does have its own uh, sonic qualities. Uh, Engelmann is often thought of as being uh, very lightweight and very responsive. Um, and Sitka is, of course, the most commonly used uh, spruce on, on guitars. And uh, I think it shows through in this guitar. It, it has a beautiful response, super resonant, um, and uh, just a, a great choice. And uh, great to see Thompson kind of branching out uh, from uh, the Adirondack that they're using most of the time. I think this is a gorgeous top and uh, really some nice character, some nice cross grain in there. Love the coloring in here, just a, a really gorgeous piece of wood. On the back and sides, uh, uh, Thompson chose Grenadillo for this. And Grenadillo is a, a Central American rosewood type wood. It's sometimes known as Mexican rosewood, even though for the most part it does come from Central America, not Mexico. This is just a really stunning uh, set of wood. I love the uh, lighter sapwood in the center of this particular back set. Uh, some beautiful figure, almost a little flame in this back, just a really nice, a bit lighter in color than many rosewoods. Um, uh, really, uh, really stunning uh, wood. Uh, same on the sides, we see a little bit of figure in there, and it's combined with maple binding. There's a maple heel cap and a uh, maple um, uh, strip in the end here uh, by the end block. Uh, so really a, a, just a stunningly uh, gorgeous uh, set of wood without being overly flashy. I, I really like this. And um, I mentioned the maple binding and that once again sort of brings me to something that I've always really liked about Thompson guitars is that there's so much respect for the tradition that a, a say a vintage a vintage OM would, would have in terms of its appointments. But with just a few tweaks that really give it a very unique appearance um, and uh, kind of uh, uh, makes it a modern custom guitar. In this case, we have traditional herringbone all around the top, but again, it's paired with uh, flame maple binding rather than uh, black or white uh, binding. Uh, very cool, it's kind of a subtle touch, and at the same time, it really uh, makes it very clear that we, we have a custom guitar here. Same with the rosette. It's um, a multi-ring uh, rosette, but instead of just being black and white, we have black and uh, some white and a little, um, brown uh, center strip that matches the uh, back and sides. I'm not sure whether it's the same wood that is used there, Grenadillo, but it certainly matches the color. Um, on the traditional side, we have a traditional um, OM teardrop pickguard, the slightly smaller pickguard style uh, that, that Martin's used on OMs and a few other guitars, but really it's very specific. If you see this kind of pickguard, 99% uh, of the time you're gonna be looking at an OM. As I mentioned, the neck has the uh, traditional uh, dimensions in, in terms of the width and the uh, overall sort of weight flares out to the slightly wider string spacing. It has Thompson's soft V shape, and that's what we've seen on the majority of Thompson guitars that uh, I've had a chance to play. It's a really nice feel. Um, I would uh, describe it as being kind of in between a typical vintage neck and a more modern neck. You can just feel the V ever so slightly, super playable. There's a nice little diamond volute behind the peg head. Uh, 
Waverly tuner, nickel colored Waverly tuner, tuners. And again, on the combination of traditional and more modern stylings, uh, we have uh, diamonds and square position markers in the uh, ebony fingerboard. And uh, that is, of course, something that you would find on, say, a vintage Martin. But instead of just being made out of shell, uh, they are framed uh, with uh, with some kind of gold framing, and it's uh, just a really nice, very classy appearance. And again, you kind of have to look a little closer, and uh, then you see the difference, and it really kind of pops out. I like guitars where uh, you you notice the level of luthery and craftsmanship. The closer you look, the better it gets, and this is kind of an example of that. Um, the peghead, of course, um, we probably noticed right away, has a beautiful flower inlay um, that is a Another great custom feature. Uh, no Thompson logo uh, either on the front or the back of the peg head. Um, sort of understated while also uh, being just a touch of, uh, of flashiness on there and definitely an individual touch on this guitar. Gorgeous inlay that really showcases the types of inlay that Thompson uh, can do. So I had the guitar tuned to uh, an open G with a low C string here um, to play a finger style tune of mine. And um, I did that because I really liked the uh, resonance I was getting from the open strings on, on the guitar. Just so the dynamic range is so great. It's got such a nice balance and uh, full of overtones. Holds that low C very well, which is typical for an OM uh, with a long scale and sort of the ability to really reproduce some low end on, on this. And of course, the guitar has scalloped vintage style uh, pre war bracing, um, and the bracing is made from Adirondack spruce on the guitar, which is perhaps why uh, you get this extended headroom uh, that you wouldn't always find on an OM. But let me also tune the guitar to standard tuning and show you what it sounds like, both uh, played finger style and with a pick. So I'll start out playing a few chords on the guitar using a pick. So again, just a very rich tonality, lots of overtones, uh, nice complexity to the sound, really fun to play that way. Uh, would work well for uh, accompanying a vocalist um, or any kind of uh, accompaniment situation. Um, so again, it has that versatility that OMs uh, are known for, great dynamic range, good volume, um, and all in this really gorgeously built package. So that is the custom Thompson OM with Lutz Spruce and Grenadillo back and sides. Uh, it's really a, a lovely example of what an OM can be, both in terms of its tonality and uh, the looks. Um, if you're into kind of a slightly modified traditional design, uh, this would definitely be a, a guitar that uh, would most likely suit you. Um, I'll go out and uh, play just a little bit more finger style on the guitar in standard tuning. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, please come on over to pegheadnation.com uh, to not just see all of our gear demos that we have there, but also our large range of uh, lessons, uh, not just for guitar, but many uh, fretted and stringed instruments. And uh, we'd love to see you there. Um, let me go out and uh, just play the guitar a little bit more. My name is Taya Gurken, and uh, we'll see you very soon.